in relation to Jude Bellingham. And he's saying that Dortmund have set Manchester United a, a deadline ultimatum of signing Jadon Sancho by August the 10th. There is also a story coming out in, from Germany that Jadon Sancho is not 100% convinced that he wants to leave Dortmund and has concerns about whether now is the right time to leave. And um, I think a big... I, I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's get off with the ultimatum. The exciting thing about this ultimatum is, and I'm going to speak to my guy, hopefully to this afternoon, maybe tomorrow morning, but from a message I, we, we, we exchanged this morning, um, I was I, what I basically said, and I'll say to you, is that if there is an August 10th ultimatum for Jadon Sancho, we are already dealing with Dortmund because Manchester United can't do a deal in four weeks. We can't. Look at Harry Maguire, six weeks. Um, Wan-Bissaka, six weeks. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, well, the transfer window in January was four weeks, but I presume we were dealing with them for a couple of weeks before that. So... You know, this is almost like this is the time that United are going to start negotiating. And it's quite interesting. I think Dortmund are setting it, And I've got no reason to disagree that this is true, by the way. But if there is an August the 10th uh, ultimatum for Manchester United to, to sign Jadon Sancho, that's clever by Dortmund. And I think what Dortmund are doing here is they're pushing it further and further forward because they know the closer they push it forward, the sooner United have to start negotiating. And the sooner United have to start negotiating, the bigger the price will be. If United start negotiating today and Dortmund say 100 million, then you start at 100 million. If United start in mid-August and maybe there's worries of another lockdown and maybe you know United have already got Champions League football and Sancho's decided he wants to move, maybe that price is closer to 80 million. So uh, what do we we're in negotiations with Dortmund now. Do not... Do not. One of two things are going to happen here. We're either going to get an absolute storm of Sancho's nearly signed for United. Sancho deal close. When you start to get that, add four weeks on. Because that's what happens with United. Unless we suddenly get very efficient. And this is going to be our biggest signing since Pogba. So look at how long the Pogba deal ha lasted. You know, And also, remember, United take so long on deals, they will suck a lot of the joy out of, out of it. They're like a vampire when it comes to um, transfers. They will suck the blood out of the deal um, and then it will happen. So I don't believe this ultimatum. Um, I, 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 well, no, let me be fair. I do believe uh, the ultimatum, but I don't think that they think it's going to be relevant. I think Dortmund are for, trying to force Manchester United into negotiating because I tell you what, if we start negotiating today, it might not happen till August the 10th. We know what happens with Manchester United. So it's encouraging. Um, and look, I'll speak to my guy today. And maybe later on we'll have something to say. But um, if that August the 10th ultimatum is true, United would have to be negotiating now because it's four weeks. And United take four to six weeks to do it.